casserole here. I have my last one that I was unable to fit somewhere um, in my craft room. I don't know if this one's going to be any good or not. I don't remember why I took the top off of this one. Who knows? <laughs> this is an old one. It's been sitting there for a little while, so I don't exactly know what's in here. So we will find out together. This is a cute little coral, corally earring. Oh. Some glasses, some beads, seed beads. Um, yeah, nothing. Hola, muy bien. This guy is broken. Lots of little pieces there. Like I said, I have no idea what this is. This one. Um, also. These are funny. I find them every once in a while. I think they're vintage. Yeah, you know. I am trying to arrange everything. And, and this was just the last one. It just didn't fit yet. That is a very cheapy ring. A little turtle, turtle earring. This one is also broken. Broken, broken too. What is this guy? Croton? I know nothing about watches. You guys know that. Everyone gets super annoyed at me, but I just don't. This is aluminum. I find aluminum necklaces like this actually quite nice. They like pretty much never lose color. This one's more heavy than normal. Sometimes they're like not that like, they just feel really cheap. This one does not feel really cheap. And the color is just amazing. They just do not really tarnish or lose their their color or fade. So I really like those. This is a long one. Yeah. So this is Monet. This is a long, 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 long Monet. Monet um, necklace. Look at that. With the little sister clasp. I love these little clasps. Look at how long it is. This one is also in really good condition. It's that really yellowy gold. Um, so super yellowy gold. Mm, St. Anthony. Seem to get a lot of those things. This looks like a shark's tooth ring. <laughs> Another cheapy ring. And a pin. Don't know what that means. It's a cute little earring. Hello, Wayne. Hello, everybody. This is beautiful. I quite like this. If the other one's not there, I can definitely take that off and make a long pendant with it. That's nice. I don't know what that is. Oh, abalone. It's also really pretty. This one is 1220th gold filled, gold filled. So maybe I will scrap that. I don't know where I put my, there it is. I think I had this before. How do I find this earring so many times? Nebu. I have definitely found that multiple times. Don't stand too late with your friends. <laughs> 
This is long, long, long. Look at that. So this is like a 1920s. It's got some problems, but you know, this would probably be fun for a flapper costume. This is nice. It's got a patent on it. And this is glass. It is a brooch. Let's see. Yeah, look. I don't think it's sterling or anything. I don't know. It is really... It is really unique, though. It's heavy. It's beautiful glass. I like it. This is not gold or anything, single earring. I had a whole bunch of these. I think they're laser pointers, but all the batteries are dead. I wonder if my cat would care about laser pointers. I do not know. Have not tried it before. Here is a aluminum ring. That's pretty. And another cheapy ring. This one's neat. I'm put it put it aside. I think this is a Swiss one, isn't it? Stainless steel. But I I don't know. I feel like this is a Swiss Swiss army one. Ooh, a skeleton. Got some skeletons in my jars. My skeleton, you guys know. I love him. This guy is fun. Wouldn't that be neat if he was sterling? Or would that have a gold one? I love this. I think he should be on a necklace, though. I definitely think we can craft with this guy. I love him. I'm put him over there. My skeleton is... Oh, look, we do have two. We have two. I don't know. I, maybe I will keep him as an earring. I don't know. I quite like him, though. Both of them. I think they're, like, a little patinaed. But I kind of like that. These are heavy, and they, they feel well-made. I know that might be weird, but that's that's how it feels. I, I like them. <laughs> Red, white, and blue. Again, that was a really popular theme in the 40s and 50s. Red, white, and blue because of after the war. Very patriotic jewelry. And... I love anything like this. Hello, Arito by Lydia. Arito Jewels by Lydia. I might have totally mispronounced that, but I apologize if I did. I can never pronounce anything correctly. This is really sweet, like that. Stretch bracelet that still does have stretch. Hi, Miss Sally. I don't know what these are. Does, who who knows what this is? Because I've seen these before. With this. What is it? What is this? I know I've seen them before. I know people know what they are. People tell me. Tell me what that is. Is this Sarah Coventry? Yeah. This is decent quality. There's a little bit of problems. It's not too, too bad. I love these snake chains. Oh, maybe for whistles. Look, how many of these are in there and none of them work. Like, 
I think I had multiples that had these in there. They must just not have known what to do, and they just threw a bunch of these in here. Because now I have, I have three, and I threw some out yesterday. Oh, look! There's two of them. That's Neato Burrito. I quite like those. And so these would be neat. You like with other brooches. Mm -hmm. Don't think this is gold. I'm pretty sure it isn't. It's a cute little earring though. Probably gold plated. Oh, that guy is, he is sad. He's so sad. Abalone, that's beautiful. Mm. Don't think this is sterling, but it is quite a nice chain, herringbone chain. Very nice. That is plastic. Look at this. It's just, this is like, I know, now it's not focusing. Now maybe it will. Um, that's just like on a rubber band. So there are two of these. Those are beautiful vintage coral. And a flag. Gotta love the flag. All right. This is neat. Pretty. This is 925. This is actually a decent size one. And then it has... I think this is marked. It's a Millie Fiori. Millie Fiori. Chain. This is the thing that went with the single earring. I feel like this would be a cute starter for like a child to see if they could handle not losing uh, something that was gold. You know? Oh, this is neat. I think this was probably a brooch before. This could very easily turn into a necklace or something, or just some kind of embellishment. That's super sweet. I like that. Same with this. I think this was also just like a little embellishment. So that will also be nice to craft with. <laughs> I have no idea how much I paid for this one either by the way, because this is old. Old, old, old. What? Oh, these are the earrings that go over your ear. It's just mis misshapen. I have some. I will show you guys what they normally look like. Not right now, but eventually. This is cool. This I might also give to my brother-in-law if I can clean it. Because I do like the look of that. And um, giving him a couple other crosses. Wow, this is beautiful. So this is... Oops, a dress clip. And you can use the dress clips by themselves too. This could go somewhere on, on your outfit by itself. Even if the other one isn't there. It is so pretty, isn't it? It's like got that tutti fruity colors going on. I love that. I'll put that up up here. Here's that other one. I swear I've I've gotten this like three times. That pair of earrings. <laughs> Single earring, A little bow. That bow would be really cute to craft with. I love bows. All right, what do we got here? There's no marking on this. It's like a little Y necklace. 
with rhinestones. That's sweet. I don't see anything missing. And a bracelet to match. I feel like those would be neat to, to wear several of these and stack them. Mm -hmm. Stack them. This one's not in good condition, though. Seal of Erie County, State of New York. Very interesting. There's a butterfly with a sugared butterfly. And then just some 90s stuff. I think, anyway. Oh, what is this? Cool little single earring. All right, we have St. Christopher's. This is broken. I think I have another, yep, another brooch. I mean, that's a nice brooch, actually. This one's gorgeous. It's very nice. Because I think they would be nice together. And we do have two of these, but I still, like I said, this one's broken anyway. I think they'd be really nice on my, like, buffaloes and stuff. I still have to finish my husband's cat. I have not done that yet. This looks really cheap. Shloggy. Shloggy. YWCA of the Tanawandas. Oh, look at that. I think... I think this must be a necklace. Like a choker. I've not seen one of those. I'm guessing that's what it is. Looks like it, doesn't it? It's very cute. I quite like that. There is something perfumey in here, man. I gotta tell you. Woo! This is neat. It is all... Clasps. <laughs> I do not. I do not know Schloge. Schloge, Schloge. That's so cute. I like these little ones. They still get those little pictures. Remember, you would like get the little pictures of yourself and trade them with your friends. And if you weren't that popular, you, like me, you'd end up with a whole bunch. Because nobody wanted to trade with you. Nobody wanted your photos. Oh, Actually, I could use this. This is from Japan. A little soldier. as a keychain. Chainmail. That's what I meant. My brain is not working. It's almost bedtime. This is quite useful. Oh, look. There's another one. Oh, I like this one better. This one has a teeny tiny nail nail file. That is neat. They're both marked from Japan, so they're both vintage. Those are awesome. I quite enjoy those. Aren't those adorable? I love them. You never know what you're gonna find in here. And then the football keychain or chain charm. That's what I meant. Uh, this one's nice. This is not real. That's kind of cool. It's not sterling or anything like that. And then what do I have here? It's no shloggy, but watch it. <laughs> watch it. That makes me laugh because it is a pun. Even though it's a very bad one. It still makes me laugh. Watch it. Oh, this is so tangled. Poor butterflies coming apart at the seams. No markings on this one. And this is long. What do we got? What do we got here? CN925. Hmm. 
Got it. Got you. Got you. It's pretty long. CN925, China. That's very nice and simple. It's actually something my daughter might like, but I don't think she likes gold. I don't know. It's marked there, too. Very nice and simple, you know? Simple is kind of understated nowadays. Look at this. That is beautiful. They're little butterflies. And this much must go in like this to hold. That is stunning. I quite like this. How do you guys feel about these butterflies? They feel nice too. Look at how look at how pretty they are. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to get this on with one hand. Oh, oh, almost. It's like a, there we go. Look at how cute that is, right? That's something I don't see all the time. I don't know, do you guys see stuff like this all the time? I certainly have not. All right, what do we got here? What are you? What are you? I don't think this is sterling, but this is really neat. Mm. That I gotta like play around with, but isn't that so neat? It's very mid-century. And this is like how it look how it comes together. I don't know, maybe it is handmade. It feels like it is. I like that. Very nice. Yeah, there's definitely something in here because my eyes. Whew, they are uh they're watering. Oh look at these. These beads, those are neat. This, not in good condition. Not, not, not. This is Sarah Coventry, Sarah Cove. Well, we know all the not gold. So I'm sure that like goes there or something. This is really long. It is in excellent condition. It's very nice. It's our Coventry. I'll put that over there. <laughs> There's a earring. Oh, this is actually really cute. You know, this would be nice layered with something, I think. I really kind of like this a lot. It's in really good condition. And I feel like layered with something that would look really chic and neat. So I'm going to put this over here. Again, these are fun. I like I like to play with these. A whole bunch of stuff stuck onto it, but it's fine. Let's see. This is so super duper long, guys. And I don't see anything really missing. I don't see any missing rhinestones. I love how long this is. This is another one that I think would be really... I'll clean it up. I like... Um, you're not supposed to submerge these, but I do, because that makes it nicer. I don't think so just because of the clasp. Um, but I will use my hair, dry hair dryer, not my hairdresser. To clean it out. 
so that the water doesn't get stuck. Goodness gracious, guys. Got money in here. Oh, goodness. There's an alien. We got an alien. Look at this. We got 25 cents. Bermuda. Man, I got some money from all over in these things. This is really cool. Let's see. Yeah, look at the how old this clasp is. Backs aren't terrible, actually. And the front's in really decent condition. This, I think, is older, for sure. Cause look at look at that clasp. That's beautiful. I really like that a lot. It's very nice. There's definitely some vintage stuff in here, like the cloisonne. Ooh, the guilloche. This is for scarves. I love scarves. I promised you guys I will do my scarf collection soon. I have an amazing scarf collection. It'll probably be two videos because, my goodness, I have a lot of them. But this is just so sweet. I love that. That's going over in the I love it file. What is... These are scissors, right? Kind of rusty though. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deal with rusty scissors. This is gorgeous. I don't think it's gold. I don't think so, but look at that. Oh, you guys probably can't see it. Here I'll put it on this. It's dirty in the back, but at least you can see it. So that'll be really, really nice to put with a necklace. So I like to put a whole bunch of things like that together. Huh. Oh boy. So... This is Jeff Gordon. My mother used to. I don't think she does anymore. I don't know. Um, love NASCAR. And she loved Jeff Gordon. My aunt loved Dale Earnhardt. That's all I know about NASCAR, really. Ooh, a river otter. What is this one? Blessed Elizabeth Ann Sethin from Germany. And then we do have the other earring. And there's just some kind of cheapy earrings and stuff. And a whole bunch of pony and wooden rings. <laughs> so I do like these two. I've not seen something like that. I I like like the retro chick kind of stuff. So Japan is probably from what the 60s, I would guess. That's what this looks like to me. And I love I love how long this is. I've never seen a rhinestone necklace this long. It's just crazy. Um we got two sterling items. No gold, but um, this one's gorgeous. And like I said, these you can kind of just put wherever you want to, because you can. So, like, you can put it on anything. You can put it on a scarf, on a hat, on, like, your side if you have asymmetric. Put it in a pocket. Yeah, that would be fun, right? Put this on, like, one of those pockets. Although, I can never fit a blazer. Um... And I love my skeleton earrings. These ones are pretty. These are really, they're nice quality. And this is just so gorgeous. I feel like this is probably, I don't know, feels like 
40s, 50s? I don't know. I could be wrong, but that's what it feels like to me. And I really do. This looks like, like something you would layer with Betsy Johnson. And I love layering pieces, so I do quite like that. This, I've never seen anything quite like this. So I quite enjoy this one. This, I feel like someone really cool will wear this belt necklace. Um, I love these skellies. I will clean them up and I will rock the skellies. Look, they're friends. He's got his arm around him. <laughs> I love those. They're heavy and they're like not cheap. So these are like decent quality skeleton earrings. I do have a collection of weird and funky earrings that I will show you guys. And these will be added to them. So I'm trying to arrange things. And I do like these three necklaces. Monet, Sarah Coventry, Aluminum, and potentially handmade. And money. From Bermuda. So... I don't know how much money this was. I don't remember. I usually didn't pay more than like $20, $25, $30 for one. Um, there's some certainly something in there that is making my eyes water. So I am going to go wash my hands, take my eyes out. I That's what I say when I take my contacts out. And get to bed. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in my next video.